he was on the on the side of the road on the sh on the ramp on the shoulder, mm -hmm. uh, and he was waving down cars, and my sister and I both said, "Well, do you want to stop and give him a hand?" So I said, "Sure, pull over." So we pulled over. It sounds harmless enough, a driver asking for a helping hand on the side of the road. But according to the OPP, it's the start of a scam that's preying on good Samaritans. They've been inundated with calls from across the province, and now there have been dozens of investigations launched here in the GTA alone. And since we brought you this story yesterday, many of your viewers have also shared your own personal encounters with us. I spoke with a man named Dale earlier today, and he told me about uh, three weeks ago when he got waved down by a man on the side of the QW. I was flagged over to the side of the road by a gentleman who uh, immediately offered me his gold ring and gold chain to uh, to lend him some gas money to, to get going because the city was out of gas. Uh, I, being the nice guy that I am, decided I'd lend him, I'd I'll lend him 50 bucks. At what point did you realize that something wasn't right here? I kind of thought there was something wasn't right the whole time, like in the back of my mind. That's why I kept asking him more questions and qualifying what he was telling me. Uh, but once I, once, I drew, once I took his picture and he was upset about that, that's when it was very clear to me that, uh, that, that something was going wrong. What would make you give him money, especially $50? I've been down and out before. The guy said he needed some gas money. He needed to get to the airport to pick up his wife. If I was in a similar situation and I needed 50 bucks for gas, I, I'd want somebody to give it to me. Mm. 300 bucks to get to Montreal? <laughs> That's a whole other story. Dale says the man gave him the $50 back after he snapped photos of him, but he saw him a second time flagging vehicles down along the highway in the same rented vehicle. He says he filed a report with the OPP on both occasions. Another woman sent us this photo saying fake gold jewelry was given to her as collateral after she gave a man $65 to fill up his tank. The OPP say this isn't only happening on provincial highways, but on city roads and in public parking lots. In many of the cases, the investigators say the men are dressed nicely. In an update today, OPP told us they've charged multiple people with fraud, solicitation, and under the Highway Traffic Act. People are, are losing money and, and really being duped into providing uh, assistance to people with their goodwill and compassion mm -hmm. that uh, maybe is not well deserved. In the cases the OPP is investigating, are you finding that people are falling for the scam? Well, yeah, we certainly are. Uh, and I'm sure there's many victims out there that are basically embarrassed to come forward because they don't want want to admit that they have been victimized uh, but for the most cases I would say many people are out there they have uh, lost money and, and been defrauded. Uh, why do you think people are falling for these scams? Well we ha we're good natured we want to help we don't want to see people uh, in uh, tough times and if we're able to help I know many uh, people Canadians uh, we want to be generous uh, it's just unfortunate that people are taking advantage of that generosity. And both Robert and Dale say they've shared their story on Facebook and have received thousands of comments of people saying the same has also happened to them. Meanwhile, the OPP tells us these investigations remain ongoing throughout the province. It was viewers that reached out to us to tell us about this story. If there's a story you'd like to tell us about, here are all the ways you can get in touch with us.